<laughs> hello, hello, hello. I'm like, I'm just putting lotion on as I'm saying hello, good morning. Facebook Friday, Frilici Friday, Facebook Live. Oh my goodness, what another week we have had. Seriously, my kids had two and a half days of school this week. They were off all last week. So in 10 days, they've had two and a half days of school in the past 10 like school days. It is nuts around here. And hi, Sharon, how are you? Yay! Okay, so you have to tell me. I think you said you like to watch it better on YouTube later than on um, the live. So hopefully today you enjoy the live. So <laughs> I'm glad that you can join us. So thank you. I said I'm just putting lotion on my hands. I'm like, you know, it's so dry around here. And oh, so later on today, I have to go down to Lansing to um, like a leadership conference or convention that Rhonda Wade, um, my former upline, is um, putting on. I say former just because of a few years ago with that whole compensation plan change. She used to be my upline, but then that all changed. So anyway, Rhonda's awesome. She does an amazing event. There are people, okay, this is so sad for these gals coming from like, I heard, a gals coming from Atlanta, there are people coming from Florida, and I think from Texas, all here to Lansing, Michigan, like whoa to the tundra, basically. So I feel kind of sorry for those girls. They have no idea what they're getting themselves into, I'm sure. So, um, but the weekend is gonna be awesome. Um, yeah, so this afternoon, people are there doing classes and things. Oh, you can always watch again later. Yeah, Sharon, that's cute. Um, yeah, so, oh, Philomena, hi there, I almost missed. I'm like, I'm already like um, off on my little train of thought here, not paying attention very well. Um, so yeah, so I'm going down Friday, well, this afternoon for the conference, and then it's all day tomorrow too, but Lily also has a, um, uh, a dance competition this weekend down in Detroit. So I am kind of fitting as much of everything in as I can. So I'm doing the conference this afternoon and this evening, and then we're heading tomorrow or tonight down to Detroit because then all day tomorrow she's got her dance competition. So um, yeah, we're just fitting it all in. It's gonna be a busy weekend and hopefully this weather cooperates. It's super like snowy blowy right now, but I don't know, we'll see. Just I'll take it slow on the way down there. So hi Marianne, how are you? I'm glad you can join us. Thank you for the shares, ladies. I appreciate that so much. I love trying to you know get the word out to others and that helps me with my little business here too. So I just appreciate that. As many shares as you can do, I love that. Thank you so much. Um, so let's see, what else do we have going on? I think we are probably ready to do our first drawing. Are you guys ready? Um, so in here, I have bunches and bunches of entries. Um, love going through all your comments. So you got one entry in here if you commented on last week's Facebook Live video. If you're new to Facebook Lives, every time you comment on a Facebook Live, well, the current Facebook Live, you get one entry in the drawing. Um, let's you get three entries if you share this Facebook Live video like Philomena and Marianne just did. And what's Marianne saying? Cold here like it is for you too. Terrible ice on the roads. Yes. That's why we haven't had school. Well, did they have it even? Maybe it was only one and a half days. I don't know. I can't remember now Wednesday if they had school or not. Maybe, I don't think they did. I think it was one and a half days because the ice started Tuesday night. Anyway, yeah, it's just ridiculous around here. So yeah, it's ice, but then some snow came last night and then the wind and <laughs> it's just awful. Um, okay, so yeah, one entry for commenting, three entries if you share the Facebook Live video. I also pulled, hi Nikki, how are you? Tons of snow in Utah too. Man, everybody's getting slammed, huh? Um, I pulled Friday was the day um, that you, if you commented or shared on any of the posts last Friday, you get another three entries in the drawing. And then don't forget on YouTube, if you comment um, and share the YouTube video, your name also goes in here. The last way you can get your name in here is if you sign up for my email list, if you haven't done that already. So lots of good ways to get entered. Ooh, you guys wanna know what we're drawing for today? These are, oh, I love these things. No school Wednesday, that's right, Sharon. So they had a day and a half of school out of 10 days. Yeah, nuts, nuts, nuts. These are the floral romance seals. And I feel awful because last week I said, oh, I'm so excited to play with these. I can't wait to play with these. And they sat on my craft table all week long and I still haven't gotten a chance to do anything with them. So maybe this week I will, I don't know, hopefully. Anyway, before like, before they're gone, right? I've got a few months still. So, but that's what we're drawing for today, right? Check in my notes, yes. Okay, so here we go. And let's see, who do we have? 
shaking these all around. Okay, one piece of paper in my hand. Okay, I'm down to one. Very good. Oh, Miss Marianne. Yay, congratulations, Miss Marianne. She does such a good job of commenting and sharing, so she always has really good odds of winning. And you all can do the same too, comments and shares. Get your name in here lots and lots of times. So congratulations, Marianne. I'll be getting those sent out to you. Oh, they're awesome. I cannot wait to play with them, seriously. Okay, so you guys wanna know what we're gonna give away this week. It is a bolt of, this is the Balmy Blue Organdy Ribbon from the Celebration Pack of Organdy Ribbon. Um, so I'm gonna show you that. You're welcome. I'm, I'm, I would love to see what you do with those, Marianne. Will you, once you play with them, will you take a picture and post it on our Facebook group so we can see what you make? And then here's another little, so I have a little strip of it. Um, this is maybe like a one yard strip. And you get five yards of that Balmy Blue Organdy Ribbon, but it's so pretty. And this is one, this is like a hot item right now because you can't get this. At least as of last night when I looked on Facebook, it still wasn't, or not Facebook, but on Stampin' Up, um, it still wasn't available. So super hot item. One entry for commenting, three entries if you share the video. Um, another three entries on that random day that I pick for comments and shares and signing up for my email list gets you another three entries. So we'll do the drawing for this awesome balmy blue organdy ribbon on next week's Facebook Live. Okay. Um, oh, I have to get, so I'm wearing my Inkspired Stampers t-shirt here. So if you buy the starter kit, you can get one of these t-shirts too and you can be an Inkspired Stamper and wear this cute. I love this uh, blue, like any shade of blue I think is like, they're all my favorite color. Like I love every shade of blue. So yeah, this is kind of a fun turquoise Inkspired Stamper t-shirt. I'm wearing this because we're going down to Lansing and I want to represent our group. Um, but I have to give a big welcome to Miss Angeline Lowry. She is our newest Inspired Stamper. She got the starter kit um, earlier this week. Um, so yeah, she got that awesome deal. She picked $175 in product and only paid $99 plus sales tax, no shipping. And now she's gonna get 20% off of all of her orders. So if you're interested, let me know. I can always answer any questions you have. We have a great group. The Inspired Stampers is an awesome group. We have a separate Facebook group set up just for anybody in my downline too that we do lots of sharing of business tips and ideas and things as well. And there are all levels of stampers or um, demonstrators on there too. So don't feel like you have to run like a big business. Um, you know, a lot of times it's just fun to get friends together and stamp and you never know. You know, people kind of fall into like becoming a demonstrator because their friends are like, yeah, this is awesome. I want to do this every month with you or every week with you. So it's an easy way to kind of become a demonstrator and build some sales without really even trying. So yeah, so let me know if you have any interest. Um, yes, advertising in a shirt you got it <laughs> and it's yeah I love I haven't worn a t-shirt in a while I had to put like a long sleeve shirt underneath it because there's no way I would wear just a t-shirt there'll probably be like a cardigan over it too before I leave the house um, but yeah so yes um, let's see I didn't have any online orders last week so I'm, I can't give away those big shot embossing folders that's too bad I'll maybe I'll try those again in a little while um, I want to show you guys some more fun projects um, with those embossing folders and then maybe that'll be a draw for another time in the meantime and got oh hi Karen how are you I was gonna say god darn it this weather kind of messed up my latest order from Stampin' Up. It was supposed to come yesterday and I, I was I got home from work late last night and I was like, where's my order? And then I hop on UPS.com and it's been delayed due to severe weather. So hopefully it's coming today. My point in telling you that is I thought I was gonna have the item that I wanna give away for next week. I thought I was gonna have it in my hands, but I don't because it's in that box. It's gonna be here. It'll be here probably while we're doing Facebook Live. The UPS man will come to the door right over there and be like, who's she talking to and what's she doing in there? It's like a funny little view if, <laughs> if anybody ever came up and saw me. So anyway, we are gonna give away, this is on the very first page of the Occasions Catalog. It's the All That You Are stamp set. And I'm gonna to try to kinda, of I can't do it that way. I have to do it on this side there. I feel like I can see a little bit better. So beautiful floral images. And then let's see, it's got a happy birthday, flowers bloom all for you, 
Thank you for all that you are and all that you do. That's awesome, huh? So three lovely sentiments, some beautiful floral imagery there. And then can you see like that flower and that flower are a little bit kind of blued or grayed out? Hi, Nancy. Good morning. Hi, Karen. Yes, terrible morning, isn't it, Nancy? We've had lots of those lately. But tomorrow's going to be good. Nancy, um, is gonna go down to the convention tomorrow. She's gonna to take my place, and we're all gonna pray for good weather so that she can travel safely down to Lansing, right? So, okay, um, let's see. I wanted to tell you guys also what I was starting to say. You know how those couple of flowers are kind of blued or grayed out there? It means that they, this stamp set, the All That You Are stamp set, coordinates with the Frosted Bouquet Framelits dies, and they say they're on page 55, and I was like, oh, I feel like I missed those dies. What are we talking about? So I flipped to page 55 in my occasions catalog, and page 55 is actually a reference back to the holiday catalog. And then I was like, oh, I know what the frosted bouquet framelits are. So I just have to show you. So these were, and they're kind of a mess, but, and that, I'm gonna say darn sun, because can it just not like peek out and like, be so ridiculously blinding from 11.30 to 12.30 on Friday afternoons in the winter. If it could just do that. I don't mind prior to or after, but seriously, you guys have a hard time seeing. Okay, so these are the Frosted Bouquet Framelits. So it's a couple of those little, um, they kind of look like circle, you know, not very evenly shaped circles. But that's what, can you guys see a little bit better if I open that up? You see, the, so those are the Frosted Bouquet Framelits. And those are still available. So kind of, that's a good point to make, that there is a whole list of items that if you didn't get them out of the holiday catalog, they are still available. I'm sure, um, go to stampinup.com, and I'm sure there's, it's gotta be like holiday carryover or some kind of a list um, is on there that you can take a look at. But these are one of those items, the Frosted Bouquet Framelits, that coordinate with the all that you are stamp set that I'm gonna give away with an online order of at least $30 when you use the host code that I'll give you in just a little bit. Um, your name's gonna go in the drawing to win that all that you are stamp set. And it is beautiful. I can see lots of opportunity to color if you want to. If not, it would just be beautiful, like that huge flower image right there. Um, that would be beautiful just stamped, you know, right on the front of a card too. So anyway, that's what we're gonna give away next week. Um, okay, I'm trying to move that stuff out of the way. I probably need that catalog again, but not right this minute. Okay, so oh, now last week I really barely had a handle on, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sunshine has been irritating or super lately. Yes, Karen's laughing at me, yeah. Okay, good, so it's gone away now. Oh, thank you, thank you. Karen, maybe you helped. I don't know, somebody said a little prayer. Mary Ellen, how are you? I'm so glad you can join us. Um, so yeah, I was just saying that the new celebration items, I, they just came out last Friday morning and I like barely had any time before we hopped on Facebook Live to really get myself acquainted with how that's all gonna work, but I have it figured out. Um, the only thing is that order that's supposed to be coming had some brochures and things that I was hoping, actually it has all the product too, now that I think about it, um, I was gonna be able to show you guys everything. So that, I'm gonna kinda do what I can with what I have. Um, because basically, so there are new items, new celebration items. There are two that you can get free with a $50 order, and then there's one that you can get free with a $100 order starting on February 15th, I'm pretty sure. Let me look, yep. I, I printed out the brochure, but it's in black and white, so it's really not that pretty. But yeah, so February 15th to March 31, the um, extra celebration items that are available. So I'm just gonna show you, it's not like, really that pretty, but this is a black and white version of the catalog. But this is the stamp set, the all adorned stamp set. And there is a video, I shared it on our Facebook group, um, that shows you some awesome um, uh, projects. I'm sure a couple of them actually are right on here as well, but you can't see them in that black and white very well. But an awesome stamp set. They showed, I think it was this stamp right here. They stamped it in all four car corners. So if you can kind of imagine if you stamped it all the way around here, and this in each of the four corners, how awesome it was. It was beautiful. You can't, you can't really tell, but it's on that heart card right there. They kind of stamped it in all four corners. So really cool, just kind of fun, 
um, mosaic patterns almost, right? And then the uh, sentiments say, you are pretty much the best ever. Well, that's kind of cool, huh? Um, lots of love and miss you. So that is the stamp set, free with a $50 order. Then there is an embossing folder called the Country Floral Dynamic Textured Impressions Embossing Folder. So this one you're really not gonna be able to tell, but I'll show you the picture anyway. So it's a beautiful embossing folder that is gonna coordinate with, does it say? Oh yeah, it says it, it coordinates with the Gingham Gala Suite in the Occasions catalog, okay? Um, and then they've got some other, that one's really hard to see. Yeah, oh, and it actually, yeah, it talks about kind of coordinating with the Butterfly Gala stamp set too. So lots of good opportunities to kind of use Occasions catalog product with that country floral embossing folder as well. So that's another free with a $50 item starting on February 15. And then last, this is the one that I was really kind of confused about because we've not done this before. This is a bundle. So it's a stamp set, the Painted Season stamp set and the Painted Seasons Designer Series paper, which that's the unusual part. Usually a bundle is a stamp set and a punch or a stamp set and framelits. But for celebration, if you spend $100, you get this bundle that is the Painted Seasons stamp set. And can you see, it's, it is hard to tell, but these are some of, what are, what's that? The distinctive stamps, that kind of photorealistic stamping imagery. So beautiful set of stamps and then a really pretty pack of designer series paper. I believe there's a video on this that I shared as well. So you can see those right on there. And I believe the idea is in this pack of designer series paper, it's 12 by 12 cardstock. You get 12 sheets and you actually get three of four different patterns. So there's kind of like a spring, summer, fall, and winter pattern, maybe front and back, and then you get three of each of those um, instead of normally we get two of six different versions. This time we get three of four different versions or patterns front and back. So that's an awesome, awesome deal. Then it gets even better. Yes, Marianne's saying, nice to have additional freebies. Yeah, because if you thought, oh, I got everything that I wanted, although I haven't showed you everything yet, so maybe you think you've gotten everything that you wanted, but maybe I'll show you something that will entice you to need one more, or maybe celebration product. Um, yes, and Karen, you're saying you ordered your bundle. I know, anxiously waiting. Yeah, okay, so those are the three new free celebration items. Now, if you're a demonstrator, we could order those right now or if you want to get the starter kit, this is a little bit weird. Normally, as a demonstrator, if you put a $50 order in, we could kind of get those new celebration items early. This time they just put dollar values to them. So we could order them early, but then if you want to get the starter kit, you could order those in your starter kit too. So that is cool. The other thing that you could order in your starter kit if you cannot wait until February 15th, because these are gonna be awesome products. Um, you have the opportunity to get something called the Celebration Coordination products. And this one I did print in color. I think because we're, I'm not gonna get flyers or brochures, I don't believe I have the opportunity to order those. Like the Celebration, that second release pamphlet, I ordered a bunch of those, so I'll have those down at the studio. Or if you want me to send you one, I'm happy to do that. Just comment on here and let me know. I'm happy to send one to you. Um, okay, but this, these are coordinating products that are only gonna be available from March 1 to March 31. So you only have a month to order these things. I'm sure they're gonna be on a while supplies last basis, so hopefully nothing sells out. Um, but this is so cool. They've never done this before. So there is a new stamp set. It's called More Than Words, and it's got some two-step stamping opportunities. Some of them are, you know, like an outside of the card, inside of the card sentiment kind of a thing. Um, I'm going to show you. Of course, it's going to be backwards, um, but I think... I'm sure I've shared this already. I just can't remember. I'm sure I have. Um, hi, Wendy. How are you? So you can see, I'm going to read you because I haven't even looked at them myself yet. Um, oh, one says, you have so much strength or so much courage, strength, and then an and sign. And then that's where you can kind of fill in some of the other um, sentiments. I'm trying to see which one you would put on there. Um, I'll have to get back to that. So thanks for, oh yeah, these are these are kind of hard to read and have you guys understand. There's an Easter, oh yeah, 
You have so much courage, strength, and bravery. That's where I'm like, okay, can you see that? You have so much courage, strength, and bravery. That's how that one works. So I don't, maybe you won't even be able to understand if I read these. But yeah, there's an Easter, a birthday with extra sprinkles on top. Oh, today calls for something sweet with extra sprinkles on top. There's a Happy New Year's. There's a Christmas. There's a Wishes. This one's kind of cool. Um, right, Wishes. And then there's like another like a little shadow kind of a deal down at the bottom. That's kind of fun. Um, Leaping for Joy is easy to do when I have a friend as amazing as you. And that's two different stamps too, right? There's one that says hopping by and jumping in um, because adulting is hard. <laughs> adulting. I think that's a funny thing. I don't really use that word much. Does anybody else say that? Adulting? Like, you know, gosh, you wish you were still a kid, I guess. And so all this adulting is <laughs> daunting sometimes, right? Um, yeah. So anyway, I think the idea is that there are some sentiments here that are going to work really well with stamp sets that we already have from Celebration. And then the really, really, really cool part about these, um, new celebration coordination products are all of the framelit sets. So I don't know how many people asked me that cute um, cupcake, the Hello Cupcake stamp set. Um, you didn't know it was a word either, Marianne. I've heard it occasionally spoken, like probably in interviews and things. So <laughs> what is, let's see, not adulting today is one I uh, hear. <laughs> no, oh, I see, you're not adulting today, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. That's cute. I could think of times when I might not want to be adulting either, right? Okay, so, um, all right, back to what I was talking about. These framelits. Okay, so for example, the, what the heck is the birthday? Whatever, the cupcake birthday stamp set during celebration. Um, they now have something called the Call Me Cupcake thinlets that coordinate and will cut all of those images out too. So isn't that cool? So it cuts out the top of the cupcake, the extra little frosting, and then the bottom of the cupcake. And then it's got this cute dome, you know, like you might put a cupcake, you know, in the little dome and then a cake stand. Um, I'm trying to see what else, just some, some other, um, oh, it looks like little birthday candles and some other, oh, the little flower and the little heart too. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. So thinlets coordinating with the so the Call Me Cupcake Thinlets, the Lily Framelits, so with the Lily stamp set that is part of Celebration, the Hop Around Framelits that coordinate with the So Hoppy Together Framelits, and then the Four Seasons Framelits that coordinate with the new Celebration bundle, the stamp set and the paper, you can order the Framelits. And then there's also a punch, the Story Label Punch. So I'm gonna try, I'm seeing lots of different, um, <laughs> Sharon saying, sometimes making nouns into verbs is weird. Yes, that's why it sounds so weird, adulting. Like, yeah, the noun into the verb, yes. Um, yes, and yeah, I know, Marianne, to have all the framelits. Okay, so I'm gonna try to zoom in because I want you guys to see. I know these are all backwards, but you're gonna be able, you're gonna need those stamp sets if you don't have them already. So spend your $50, right? Get your So Happy Together stamp set, your cupcake stamp set. $100, get you your Lily stamp set, right? Then you're gonna, then you can buy these framelits to cut everything out starting March 1st. Or if you're a demonstrator, you can order them now. Or if you get the starter kit, you can order them now. And then there's that new punch and the new framelits. So awesome new stuff. I have not, like for example, that So Happy Together, the froggy stamp set. I haven't used that one too much. And now I'm like, oh, the possibilities. Now that we can, like, you don't have to fussy cut all of those things out. So that's going to be very cool. So watch for that. Again, starts March 1st. Unless you want to get them early as a demonstrator, you can do that too. Okay? Um, let me know if anybody has any questions. Because I know it's a little bit confusing. We've never done that celebration coordination products. So those that I just talked about, you cannot get those for free with any kind of an order. You have to order and pay for those. But you could order and pay for those and get one of the celebration items for free, either the new things or, um, you know, one of the ones that you don't have already, you know, buy the framelits and then get the stamp set free kind of a thing. Okay. Um, okay. So don't forget next week, weather permitting, I have had to reschedule um, all of my events so far this month at the well the end of January and the beginning of February I've had to reschedule everything because of this crazy weather so fingers crossed next Wednesday we're gonna have our simple beautiful car class at the stamp studio from 6 until 8 30 did I say that on Wednesday February 13th and then on Friday afternoon from 1 until 3 right after Facebook live right here 
run down to the studio and have class, simple, beautiful card class. If you're not local and you wanna get those cards shipped to you for free, just put in an order of at least $40 and use this host code, and it's on my blog too at gatheringinspiration.com. The host code is UBUVK7XR. Okay, so that's good. Just put an order in by next Thursday, the 14th, February 14th. Put an order in by Valentine's Day, and I'll send you those cards for free. Okay, or if you're local and you want to come to class, just shoot me a message and let me know that you want to come hang out with us. And I'm going to play with some of the new, um, more of the new occasions catalog and celebration stuff. So lots of good things we'll be playing with there. So. Okay, I'm missing some comments here, sorry. Nancy is saying, can we earn the framelits free with celebration? Nope, you cannot, you have to pay, you'll always have to pay for the coordination products, Nancy. So even as a demonstrator, we cannot earn those. So anything that's part of the celebration coordination, the stamp set, and then all four packs of framelits and the punch, you can only buy those. And there are prices right on there too. Um, actually, it looks like the framelits are all $27 except the Four Seasons framelits, those are 28. And then the Story Label Punch is $18. The More Than Word stamp set is $17. So you'll never be able to earn those. We can only buy those, okay? Um, but check out, if you go to stampinup.com, Nancy, it's all right on there too. But I tried to explain it, so hopefully that helps a little bit too. Um, okay, let me see what else. Actually, I have to grab a quick sip of water. One sec. <laughs> okay. Ooh, all right. So one more thing I want to, actually a couple more quick things I want to tell you guys about. Um, I know I've mentioned my club member drive and I've had more people come, that's like gaining excitement right now, maybe with the new celebration items that are coming out too. So if you join a club, the Simple Beautiful card class is also a club. Basically you just say, I want to come to that class for the next 12 months and hang out and make cute projects every month and put an order in or scrapbook class or club. If you join that club, same thing, make three pages every month, put an order in, come hang out with us. Or if you're not local, the two kind of long distance options are the card club to go, like I just mentioned, put an order in of at least $40 to get the projects from the Simple Beautiful card class sent to you for free or there's the class to go club. So that's the class that I do every month, like the kind of online to go kit class. If you say you wanna sign up and do that every month for 12 months, any of those basically, when you sign up for any of those clubs, you get at least $30 in host benefits one month when you're the hostess of the club. I always like to make cute treats to send out to everybody that's in a club or I give them to you if you come to the stamp studio if you're local. And then right now, I'm, as part of my club member drive, you get to pick a free celebration item. Any of the $50 items, you get to pick one of those for free as my thank you for joining a club. So if you have any interest in joining any clubs, now's the time to do it because you get that awesome extra free celebration item. You always get host benefits one month and you always get cute treats for me no matter when you sign up. Um, and honestly, people love it. I've had people that have been doing like say the Simple Beautiful Card Club for years, scrapbook club for years. You know, once you kind of start on it, it's like that one night out a week or um, something that's sent to you once a month. Just cute projects that you get to make. It's like that fun, nice thing that you do for yourself every month. So if you have any questions, let me know, okay? So that being said, one more thing to tell you guys about, celebration, celebration. I've been talking some about that. Basically, that is an event that I do after celebration is all done that you can earn a spot to come to, or if you're not local, if you're long distance, if you earn your spot, I'll send you everything that you would have received if you were able to come to the event locally, right? So the ways that you earn your spot to the celebration, celebration. And basically it's like a fun kind of spoiling day. There are make and takes, there are, um, Gifts that I give you if I can get new product early, we'll be playing with new stuff. It kind of always depends on how Stampin' Up! rolls out the new stuff. Um, 
there are always like snacks and treats and like giveaways. It's just an awesome like um, make and takes, did I say that? Just like a thank you for your business during celebration party, basically is the idea. So these are the ways that you earn your spot into the celebration celebration. First way that you can do that is if you want to hold a private party or class, we can do it right at the stamp studio so you don't have to clean your house or do anything like that. Um, if we have sales of at least $250, which is so easy to do, basically if you have five people there, they're probably all gonna put an order in to get the celebration item, so that's like a no-brainer, right? So $250 order gets you $50 in free stuff. Does everybody know that? So even as a demonstrator, if I put a $250 order in, I can get $50 for free right now, plus five free celebration items. So it's seriously like this total no-brainer. Put that big order in that, you know, the, everything that you've been wanting, put that order in, get all those free things. Tell your friends about it too. Maybe they're gonna put orders in to get their free celebration items and then that just helps increase those host benefits. So that's way number one. Host a private party or class. I do everything for you. You basically just have to get some friends together and come hang out with me, right? Um, opportunity number two is if you purchase the starter kit, you guys have heard me talk about that, pick $175 in product, pay only $99, you earn your spot automatically to celebration, celebration. And then the last way is if you spend at least $150 through me, either locally or online, and I can combine those two, um, you earn your spot at celebration, celebration. So I would love to have as many people there as possible. We've actually had so many people in the past few years that I've kind of done like two different time slots so that it, because the stamp studio is not that big, right? So I want to make sure everybody's comfortable and having a good time. So we do like half the people earlier and half the people a little bit later. So it's an awesome day, awesome event. I'd love to get you there. I'd love to help you earn your spot there. So if you have any questions on that, let me know. Okay, I have done a lot of talking and I apologize because it's funny on my notes, it didn't look like I had too much to say, but that's usually how it goes. Those are the days when I have lots and lots of things in my brain to tell you about. So, okay, I think we are ready to move the camera. I have a couple more quick things to show you guys. And where did I, yeah, I can't remember. I, I'm like, where did I have in my notes to uh, show you? I'm gonna show you the scrapbook pages right here before I flip. So these are, cause these are really pretty, if I do say so myself, right? Well, it's because it's all cute Stampin' Up! product, really. I do very little of this. Um, and I may have shared these on our Facebook group, but these are a couple of the pages that we made at Scrapbook Class. We were supposed to do it two weeks ago. We just did it this past Tuesday because we had to reschedule. But this is one of the pages. So it was like a valentine -y page. And if you can see, this is kind of an element um, from a card or a project. Um, I love to do that if I've said that before. I love to pull elements like from the, a card front and put them on a scrapbook page. I think that's really like a handy way to design your pages. And then here's the second coordinating page. More with that um, meant to be, I think it's called, having a, like a brain fart moment, right? Can you see people were kind of confused, but we actually stamped a little heart from that stamp set and then we put one of those little heart epoxy droplets right over top of it. So super cute. And then check out, have you guys seen the detail on that one? Isn't that awesome? So this is, I just overlaid it. So I die cut a white heart and then the lovely lipstick is all the detail over there. So these pages, I'm pretty sure I did upload. Do you guys know that too? I have pictures of everything that I ever do on this Facebook group right here. Thank you ladies, I appreciate that. So if you ever need like card layout ideas, scrapbook page layout ideas, those are all in albums right here on our Facebook group. So check those out sometime. I just uploaded a bunch more pictures. I try to do that every so often to keep those current on there too. So okay, now we are ready. I'm gonna move the camera and then I'm gonna show you a couple more things and then we're gonna do some stamping. All right, you guys ready? Turn your heads away as always for a quick sec while I move the camera here. Okay. And gosh, if you guys could see, oh my goodness, they're all, <laughs> it's so snowy and blowy. I'm sure half of you guys live like somewhere like this too, right? So it's not that crazy. Thank you, ladies. I'm glad you like those pages. Okay, so I think we're good there. Um, there is, here we go. I'm gonna show you the host code real quick. Oops, look at that. All my little notes, I have these little love notes to myself all over the place. Okay, so while I'm getting my thoughts together here, 
Take a look, this is the host code. New host code for February, just started last week, the ZZJYG9NU. Again, if you're new to Facebook Lives, if you put an order in at stampinup.com and use that code, spend at least $30 by next Wednesday. Your name is gonna go in the drawing to win. Oh, that's right, I don't have the stamp set. But the, ooh, now it's not backwards either. The all that you are stamp set. So there's the happy birthday flowers bloom all for you. Thank you for all that you are and all that you do. Such a pretty stamp set. And then those are the stamps that you can die cut with those framelits from the holiday catalog. Okay. So, okay, too many pieces of paper here. It's how I keep myself going though. Okay, um, all these things. Okay, yeah, so, oh, I know what I wanna show you guys. Here we go. Have you guys seen? <laughs> I'm so excited about this. Um, yes, Marianne is saying yes, you have to, you, any of those celebration coordination products, the framelits, that new stamp set, where did it go? Here, you know what? I'm gonna show you guys this way too. Yep, so here we go. This is the celebration coordination. You can only purchase these. If you're a demonstrator, you can buy them right now. If you're a customer, you can buy them starting March 1 to March 31. Here are some cute projects here. This is a great example. That dome that goes over your cupcake and then the cupcake stand. Here's another one that shows you how it cuts out the frame or the images from the froggy stamp set and then the lilies too. Beautiful, huh? This, on a total side note, whenever I write that stamp set name, Lily, it's L-I-L-Y. I guess that's how you write the flower name, but my daughter's name is Lily with two L's, so it's always this, oh, only one L when I write that stamp set name or type it. <laughs> so, sorry, that was just like a little moment that I had. Okay, so back to what we're talking about. Again, celebration coordination. You can only buy the More Than Words stamp set for $17. You can only buy the Lily framelits are 27 Call Me Cupcake framelits are 27 Hop Around framelits are 27 The new Four Seasons framelits that are going to go with the new stamp set and designer series paper, the bundle that you can get for free with a $100 order. So if you bought like all four of these, then you could get the bundle, the stamp set and the designer series paper that coordinate with that Four Seasons framelit set. And then there's one more. I'm going to kind of try to get right in there close because this looks like a really pretty... Another label, story label punch, they're calling that. So that's another one that you can order. That one is $18. The Four Seasons Framelits are $28. And then those other three are all $27. So, okay, hopefully that makes sense. Let me know if you guys have any questions, because it is weird. It's something we've never done before, so it's confusing for people. Hi, Rosa, how are you? Okay, so back to what I was talking about. This is my latest class to go. If you have not um, checked out the YouTube video yet, I'm gonna just show you guys super quick all of the options that we have in the sweet, how, what am I calling it? How sweet it is class to go. Okay, so it features super cute. You guys have seen, we've used this a tiny bit, right? The sweetest thing stamp set. There is a make it a sweet celebration sentiment, sweets for you, happy birthday, couple of little labels and then a whole bunch of candy jars and candy imagery. Awesome stamp set. So stinking cute. And then the framelits that cut out. I'll open that up. All the jars, a bunch of candy, and they've got like detail on there too. So they kind of emboss and die cut. The little label, the big label, the lollipops, more candy. And actually, oh, I must have it pulled out. There's another jar framelit too. Um, it is really confusing, isn't it, Philomena? If anybody has any questions about the celebration stuff, let me know. So, because it's different. We've never done it before. So maybe we'll do it again next year or maybe it's so confusing they'll never do it again. I don't know. But it's a great idea. I mean, we love like having framelits to cut all those things out, right? Okay, so again, the jar or the how sweet it is class to go, right? So I always give you a bunch of different options. This is an example. If you wanna do a to-go kit every single month for the next 12 months, that's joining the class to-go club. I always give you different options. So depending on maybe you already have the stamp set or the framelits, maybe you don't want those, but you still like the cards and you're gonna stamp with something else. Um, 
I always give you lots of different options. So you can substitute also if you already have the stamp set and the framelits and you want to get the Mac Daddy option number one, you can substitute for the same value. So lots of different ways to participate. Basically, it's just if you want to get one of these kits mailed to you every month, sign up for the club, you're going to get your free celebration item, and then your host benefits and your cute treats from me, right? So you could sign up today and get the sweetest I keep wanting to call it sweetest thing because that's the stamp set. The how sweet it is class to go, right? Okay, so I'm gonna show you the cards and I'm gonna tell you the options super quick. And then you can always check out the YouTube video if you want more info. The link is right on there too to order through PayPal. Super, super simple to get you signed up. Okay, so here are the cards I love. So I love the designer series paper too. So we've got this one, make it a sweet celebration. We got this one that says sweets for you with the awesome ribbon. Whoa, this is one of my favorites, I think, because I love the ribbon and the paper and everything about it, honestly. The little candies, the dots. So that's a little happy birthday. And then this one is a Z Fold happy birthday card, too, with more of the ribbon, the stamping, and the framelits. And I tried to use as much of the designer series paper as I possibly could because I loved that paper. So Okay, let me tell you, we've got option number one is the full class to go. You get the stamp set, the framelits, all four cards, two of each of them, so you get eight total, and a bolt of, and I didn't even think I was going to like this ribbon until I opened it up and started using it, Coastal Cabana on one side, reversible to Granny Apple Green on the other side. Beautiful, silky, so easy to tie and work with ribbon, okay? So you get all of that, plus you get a free celebration item, that option number one is $73. Option number two is if you just want the stamp set, not the framelits. You're gonna get the ribbon also, all four projects, two of each of them. Oh, you always get the PDF tutorial too, right? Option number two is $44. Then option number three is if you already have the stamp set, you have to have the stamp set to do your own stamping or another stamp set that you wanna use um, if you don't want to get that sweetest thing stamp set not the jar of framelits either. So it's basically just the ribbon. We'll do your die cutting for you that you need to do with those jar of sweet framelits if you don't get those, all right? You get the ribbon, PDF tutorial, all four cards, two of each of them. That option number three is $27. Now option number one, two, and three all ship priority mail for $8. They just increase that postage cost. Um, if you're local, just pick the studio pickup option and you can pick up your to-go kit right at the studio, okay? Option number five is if you just want the PDF tutorial, you don't want any of this stuff, you're gonna do it all on your own, you just wanna know how to do it. That option number four is $15. Now, the PDF tutorial, if you're an Inkspired stamper, like my t-shirt says, you get the PDF tutorial for free every single month, just email me to let me know and I can send that right out to you. You also can participate in option number five if you're an inspired stamper. That gets you all of the make and take parts and pieces to make all four cards, two of each of them at cost. It's just $12 if you're an inspired stamper to get these cards sent to you. You're gonna need your stamp set and the framelist to do your own stamping and die cutting, and I'll send you the ribbon that you need to make these projects too. So registration closes a couple weeks from now on Friday, February 22nd and expected shipping dates of all expected shipping date of all kits is March 6. So, let me know if you have any questions. I'd love to get one of these to-go kits together for you. If you want to understand even better cuz I feel like I'm talking a mile a minute about the class to-go club, you don't even have to do the club too. If you just want to order when you feel like, that's fine too. You just don't get that free celebration item or the host benefits. So, it's a great deal. I tell you guys, you're going to you'll love the kits. I try, I try not to do anything ugly, right? I think I try to do cute projects. So, okay, let me know if you have any questions. Karen has a comment. What is she saying? I wasn't interested in this set. I'm assuming the sweetest thing, but I absolutely love the DSP and I've really fallen in love with the stamps and framelits. I didn't think I'd use them. I was very wrong. <laughs> That's like a total testimonial. That's really cute. You know, it's funny because even in the um, catalog, this whole suite looked a little too... I don't know, bright and garish almost when I first looked at it. But now, especially after playing with the paper, I absolutely love all of it. I love the paper. I love the stamp set. Plus, I'm a total like sweet aholic sweet tooth. So <laughs> how can you go wrong with a jar of sweets, framelits, and candy jars, right? 
So, okay. Um, I think we are ready to, oh, thank you, Philomena. She says, great projects. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, okay, let's do some stamping. You want to? That's why you guys are all here, right? So, in keeping with, let me get this all situated so I know where the middle of the screen is because it's in a different place every week, I feel like. There, I think you guys should be able to see everything, right? Um, where, what am I looking for? Yeah, okay, I'm just trying to make sure. Oh, well, okay, so speaking of the jar of sweets framelits and the how sweet it is, all of that, I have to show you guys. So this is the how sweet it is designer series paper, and then I'll show you the card. We're gonna make one more card with this um, suite of products because it's been our product of the week. And I thought, oh, I wanna do one more thing that I didn't get to do in those class to go projects. But so can you see, this is what's so cute is the framelits cut all of these jars out too. So super cute, there's one side. And then if you want, I was gonna say a little more subtle, but I don't know if that really is, but those are little candy pieces, right? So that's one side. These are fun too, the little bubble gum machines. Who doesn't remember those as a kid, right? And then that's a little more tame, right? On the back side of that one. I love this stripey paper. And then on the back side, oh, some more sweets. Look at how cute those are, the little cupcakes and candy jars. And then I love these polka dots too. And then on the back side, okay, this one's tame, right? Kind of um, Coastal Cabana, darker and lighter shades and stripes. This is another one of my favorites. I, I think I love stripes, I guess, right? I love those colors. And then gummy bears. I like gummy bears too. <laughs> and I like cupcakes. And I like candy. And I like lollipops. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I love this paper. And then here's the back side. Ooh, I love the little Coastal Cabana polka dots. So great pack of designer series paper. The How Sweet It Is paper. Let me show you. So this is the card that we're going to make today. And I totally cased this. Um, I will tell you, this has been a, a kind of a crazy week with the kids being off school and trying to still go to work. So last night when I got home late from work, I had to finish getting the projects together. So this card was cased from Libby at LibbyStamps.com. And I did a quick flip through her blog last night. She's got a lot of cute projects on there, ladies, so check her out. Um, but this is the one that I saw. I was right off of Pinterest. And then I love how when you go to Pinterest, you can click on the picture and it'll take you right generally to the person's blog. Um, sometimes they link it to the blog post, sometimes they don't. I don't think this one was linked right to her blog post. Um, but anyway, I love that. So you can go check out more projects that they make, right? So this is the card that we're gonna make today. Don't forget, I think a couple of weeks ago, we made this card with more of that How Sweet It Is Designer Series paper, the framelits, and the stamp set. So I just have loved this product of the week, I think, as it's been so bright and cheerful on a really not bright and cheerful week around here in Michigan. So, okay, let's get started. And actually, do you guys notice this? I was gonna say, let's get started stamping, but we didn't even do any stamping on this one. Isn't that, I think that's really cool, actually, kind of a fun testament to all the other awesome products that we didn't even have to stamp, and yet, I love candy, right? <laughs> okay, so let me show you. We are gonna start, did, oh, I was gonna say, at first I thought I didn't see my big shot. But that would be easy to go get. Okay, so we have, this is a piece of Pineapple Punch is the name of this color cardstock, right? Eight and a half by 11. We cut it in half along the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter inches. And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches to make our nice crisp fold on our card. Oh, Marianne says she's got to run. Okay, I, yes, thank you for watching later. Have a great day, Marianne. Okay, then we have a piece of my favorite. Look at how cute that is, that stripey designer series paper. So this piece of paper measures three and a half by four and three quarters. And then we have just a couple of little strips. Everything else is kind of um, just scraps of paper. This is Coastal Cabana cardstock, three quarters by three inches, and Gorgeous Grape cardstock, three quarters by three and a half, okay? So those are all the exact measurements that you need. Then we are gonna do, let's do all of our die cutting. So I'm gonna scoot these guys out of the way because I have to die cut any of that. 
Let's grab our big shot. Get that guy right on there. Okay, so here's a little strip of paper that we are going to, let's see, we're gonna do this one and maybe the love. So the jar, this guy right here, of course, fits perfectly right on there. And then I pulled out what I'm gonna call an oldie but a goodie because I loved these framelits when they came out. This has been actually a couple of years ago. The Sunshine Wishes framelits, do you guys remember? these so there was a sorry these are a mess right they, they were lo well loved at the time but that flower and the heart there's a little butterfly right there this one says congrats backwards and how about the other ones this one says hope oh good I can read that because I turned it around oh this is a fun one sunshine right and then the one that we are going to use the love. So we're going to pop that on a little scrap piece of gorgeous great cardstock. Okay? So that's good there. We just have to make sure this thing gets lined up nicely. And if you don't get the framelits, you can fussy cut around these. I mean, why would you ever want to do that if you didn't have to, right? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Some people love to cut. I kind of do sometimes if I have time, which I'm not sure when that ever is. Okay, so can you guys say a quick prayer for me that the wind stops blowing and it stops snowing by the time I have to go to Lansing later this afternoon? Because I really don't want to drive in the weather that's out there, out the window right now. Okay, so here's the love. We don't even need, well, maybe I do. I have a little paper piercing tool. I'll pop that little guy out there. Okay, there. So we've got, oops, that's not even in the view. There's the love. Scooting that out of the way. And then this one, oh good, it didn't move on me. Okay, so there's the cute jar, right? So we're gonna pop those in there. Then we also need, oh, here. We have a piece of pineapple punch cardstock and whisper white cardstock for our circles, okay? So we are gonna use the stitched shape framelits. I have the second largest circle out of the white cardstock. And then, the layering circle framelits. And I know you guys laugh at me because I these look so, I'm really fairly organized, but this doesn't make me look very organized, does it? So one, two, three, four, the fifth smallest straight edge is what we're looking at there on our pineapple punch. Okay, so we're gonna cut both of those out. Okay, here we go. Fun, bright, beautiful colors. Loving these. And, okay, we're going to pop these guys right out. Love how those pop out so nice and easy, right? Scooting those, scooting those. That stuff goes there. All right, I think we are good with the big shot. Get that guy out of the way. Okay. I brought my silicone mat because I think I'm going to need that at some point. And we have all of our pieces here. Okay, so I'm gonna put that guy right up there so I know what I'm doing. And, okay, good, I did have my adhesive. Okay, 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 okay. I'm sure I've told you guys how my kids laugh at me like when I'm on the phone, they're like, mom, I think you said okay 40,000 times. And I probably do, it's like on these videos now too. And then I get really self-conscious and I don't know what else to say besides okay. <laughs> So then I'm like, I don't say anything at all. All right, so now we're going to put a little bit of adhesive just on these strips. You don't really need this craft sheet. Although, look at that. I kind of went off the edge, so that's kind of handy. I brought it over here. That's right. This thing is about out of... Yeah, I noticed that last night. I wonder if we're going to be able to get these done before I run out of adhesive. Oh, I have my fast fuse, if not. Okay, so we're going to put that little strip. I think I want it up a little bit higher. We're gonna put him right about there, and then we're gonna layer our Coastal Cabana one, kind of right about there. We'll say as long as, does that look straight? Looks straight enough, right? Then we are gonna put some adhesive. I'm gonna start using my fast fuse on this circle, and I did not pop anything up on adhesive or on dimensionals other than my little jar. So this guy is gonna go right there and then that circle layers right over top. I love all these layers of circles, right? 
I tell you, if you don't have the stitched shape framelits, the circles, squares, and ovals, and then these layering circles, I'm sure you guys are probably tired of like seeing how many times I use these things, but I just can't stop because I love how they all layer together so nicely. We're gonna put some dimensionals on the back of our candy jar. And then I'm just peeling the backs off of these. You guys don't really care about this, right? Um, oh, oh, Karen, good. She's saying she went to Lansing yesterday and the freeway was good. I bet, right now I'm more so worried about all the blowing, um, just being able to see, you know? But it'll be fine, it's not that far. And I will leave with enough time, and if I'm late, I'm late, I'm not worrying about that. So this is totally out. Did I get enough? I think I got enough adhesive to actually stick that on. So I just kind of layered this down along the bottom. I'm going to tell you what, she used a different framelit that I didn't have. I think hers said happy. It was really, really cute too. Um, maybe the well-written framelits, and I do not have those. So I improvised. I love candy, so I thought, why not? Oops, where's my take your pick tool? Oopsie. So I'm going to use my Barbie spatula, and I'm going to scoop underneath these things are so like stuck on there sometimes. So we're gonna put one. I love these glitter enamel dots. If you guys didn't notice, we used a ton of these on the class to go to and I'll provide you with those. It was funny because we used them at a meeting the other day and somebody was like, well, where are those in the catalog? They hadn't really even seen them before. So I was happy to introduce kind of a old slash new product that's like stuck on there to my downline. Okay, there, woo hoo hoo. How cute is that? All those little polka dots on there too. Have to love those. So what do you guys think? Isn't that cute? Oh, I love, there's just the stripes. Fun, bright, happy, especially when we're all like winter go away. <laughs> okay, so that's one of the projects, right? Um, let's see, Karen, layering and framelits are two things along with coordinating products. Ah, uh, yes, you're not kidding. The coordinating products and how, yeah, just how everything works so well together. Absolutely, you got it, Karen. Okay, so I'm gonna, you know, get myself organized for the 10 millionth time. And, okay, you guys wanna see what else we're gonna make? So this is the next suite of products that I cannot wait to spend some more time with. I'm going to show you the designer series paper first, and I'm totally blanking. Floral Romance, I think it is. So beautiful. It's almost, this almost looked like vellum, but it's not. But they've got some kind of, oh, it's just beautiful. I don't even know how to explain it. It looks very like photorealistic also with kind of lighter and darker shading. So there's one side, right? And then the other side is kind of a really soft, beautiful petal pink kind of speckly page, right? Then check out, this is vellum. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that very well. Try to move it around in the right light. So this is kind of a, like a floral brocade type of a look, but it's see-through. Um, I wonder, this isn't gonna be very pretty, but does that kind of give you, it gives you a better idea of the color actually. So do you see how that works, how the, the color behind it kind of pops through? <laughs> yes, Sharon, that was you. That's right, and the glitter enamel dots, yes. That's, I knew, I was like, gosh, I remember that conversation. Yeah, Sharon hadn't seen those before from the annual catalog. So kind of shout out to the annual catalog. This always happens every year when our occasions catalog comes out. And we just had finished up with holiday catalog. The occasions catalog product sometimes can use a little more love. So take a peek back in there and make sure that you have everything you need out of the annual catalog too. Because there's a lot of good stuff in there. Like those glitter enamel dots are what we're talking about. So super cute. But anyway, okay, so that's the one side. Well, there's no front or back, right? It's vellum. So you get a couple sheets of that. And then more vellum. I love this paper. So can you see... Um, this almost looks like Hawaii to me too. I'm trying to think of if you guys know the name of the flower. Me, mm, I was gonna say hibiscus because I feel like that's what's on my little necklace too, but it might not be. Hi Gwen, how are you? I hope you're doing okay these days. Yeah, it's good to have you join us today. Um, okay, so we're talking about this beautiful vellum. So can you see, this is another one. I'll put this behind it. So can you kind of see how, ooh, that brightened that right up. Actually, I thought that was gonna be really awful with the yellow behind it, but it really kind of makes it pop too. 
I've seen with white cardstock behind it. Um, so yeah, you kind of get a better idea of that vellum. So you get a few sheets of that. And then this is the paper that we're gonna use on the project that we're making today. So just another, this is like a mossy meadow, very, very pretty. And then this is kind of like um, barn wood almost. Um, this is so popular right now, that kind of look of paper, right? Okay, so that's the Floral Romance Designer Series paper. And we are also using, I have to bring this out, the Lasting Lily stamp set. Have you, have you guys seen this? I'm hoping that you have. This is one of those items you can get for free with a $100 order during celebration. So I have to show you guys the sentiments because sometimes I just look at the imagery and I don't pay attention to the words so much. I do that all the time, actually. So here is one sentiment. May the constant love of caring friends bring you comfort and peace. That's an awesome sentiment, right? Thank you for your endless love and support. Our thoughts are with you. You are proof there is good in the world. Oh, that's very sweet. Dear friend, I adore you with sympathy today and always for the moments you can't put into words and wishing you well. So an amazing set of sentiments and then beautiful, more, these are more of the distinctive stamps, right? That just this beautiful imagery in the stamping too. So we're gonna use this stamp set today, but I have to show you, I have gotten so many swap cards with this stamp set that I have to show them to you. So this one, I think maybe we even made, nope, actually this was a swap from Elaine Shader. Beautiful, huh? So simple. This is literally stamps, ink, and paper. That's it. The stamps and then the ink and then your cardstock, right? It's beautiful. This is a really cute one too, right? I love that little gingham and I love that little framelit too, the with sympathy. Oop. That one, I don't know who it's from because it must be inside. And then how about this one? This is kind of a different, like I love the embossing folder that she used there. And just one simple stamp that says, I adore you, or one simple flower stamp, right, Lily? And this one is from Shannon Criado. And I'm trying to see if there's, I don't see a blog. Um, you can email her, but that's it. No blog. Okay, and then, oop, that sun's peeking out again. And then here's another one. See, again, stamps, ink, and paper, and just one little bow on there. Simple, beautiful, easy with sympathy. And then you could use one of the other sentiments inside, too. Um, I love, you know, a lot of times it's hard to know what to say. These sentiments really help with that, I think, too. Um, and then, oh, my goodness. So this one we may have to make at some point. I, I didn't quite know how to do it, and it was I was too tired last night, to be super honest with you, to figure it out. But I think she stamped right on the vellum on there. Um, but I got to do a little more investigating on that one. But I love, I love this card so much. And then she did it for birthday, for your birthday. And it looks like she probably colored those rhinestones with um, one of the Stampin' Blends markers. So I love that you can do that. And then this one is very similar to a spot that I received. Um, I saw this online. Mary Fish had um, done this card. So we actually made this one at Simple Beautiful Card Class last month in January. But again, it's got that. I love that um, um, that framelit. It's part of the, I think it's the mm, stitched label framelits. I think it is. Love all the detail on there, all of the stitching and all the extra detail. I love, this is some of our old olive linen thread. I love that too from the Occasions catalog. And then some of that Gingham Gala Designer Series paper. It is gorgeous, isn't it? With the Highland Heather stamping. So beautiful. So if that did not make you want this stamp set, right? I've got one more thing to show you guys that I think might make you really fall in love with this stamp set. So this is the card that I'm going to show you guys today. Ooh, sun's peeking out. Sorry, we got a little bit of a glare, but I don't think it's going to last very long. Oh, I'm glad you like those, Philomena. They are gorgeous, aren't they? So this is another one. I cased this right from Celine Kempton. Um, I think she's at selenekempton.com if you want to look up her blog. She does awesome work. Super cute, simple stamping. And I use the sentiment that says, thank you for your endless love and support. And then with that ribbon, the variegated, kind of the petal pink and white variegated ribbon, with mossy meadow cardstock and some um, petal pink, I think it is, right? And then that was why I showed you the designer series paper because we used some of that floral romance designer series paper right there on the bottom of the card. So let me show you, we're gonna put this one together now, okay? 
So with my petal pink cardstock, I did two tall cards this week. That's kind of unusual. Um, I don't know why really, but <laughs> it just is. Okay, so along the eight and a half inch side, I cut it in half at four and a quarter inches. And then along the 11 inch side again, we scored it in half right at five and a half inches. Okay, so that's our first step, right? Then I'll give you some more dimensions for the other pieces. Let's see. Okay. Oh, darn, I forgot. my. I got to go get my paper piercing mat. I'm going to do that in just a sec. This is Mossy Meadow cardstock that measures, this one's a little bit precise, three and seven eighths by five and one eighth, right? Oh, it is a beautiful card, isn't it, Karen? I know. When I saw it online, I was like, oh, we are so making that card in something I'm doing. Then the Whisper White is three and three quarters by five inches. That's how you get that little layer right there, one eighth of an inch. Okay, and then the other piece of cardstock that we have is that was that. Oh my gosh, you guys, someone's calling me too. Okay, one sec, I'm gonna go get my paper piercing mat because I need that to do the stamping well for this card. Okay, hold on, here I come. All right, so with these um, photopolymer, especially with the um. Oh, sun, go away. <laughs> now I'm like, oh gosh, it really is kind of clearing right up there. Okay. This isn't going to work, is it? I'm going to be against the wall before we lose the sun. <laughs> okay, well, this is better anyway. Okay. Um, all right, so I want a little scrap piece of paper because I think I'm going to go off the edge at some point. So I've got my paper piercing mat. I've got my Whisper White cardstock, and I had some notes here because I really want to be careful that I stamp this right because it did take me a couple of attempts. It looks so simple, and it is, but you got to get things lined up so that you have room for your sentiment over in this corner. Okay. Oops, so I've got all my... So I have Mossy Meadow ink. Oh, what is Sharon saying? If you accidentally use that big lily upside down, all you get is a big blob. <laughs> Not that you've ever done that. Oh, well, you've totally like fessed up like on live TV now, Sharon. So everybody knows that you did that, but that's okay. You know, I'm sure you might want a big blob every once in a while, right? Okay, so I'm gonna use this um, small lily stamp first. And so I'm kind of inking it up in, that was the petal pink. So this one, I want to make it over far enough, maybe right about there. Okay. And then I'm going to stamp my other lily. I'm inking this up again. And no, you know what? I don't want to do that. I want to do, that's how I lined this up. Okay, so now, so I did the little lily. Now I'm going to get the stem of this one. This is, I want this down here, don't I? Is that going to go off the bottom? I don't know. I can't remember anymore why I have that piece of paper there. But so we're going to put this one. The camera's right in my way to get this lined up. But we're going to hope. Hey, look at that. I think I did a good job. Okay, now we're going to re-ink this one in our petal pink, right? Is that what this is called? Where's my, yeah, petal pink. Okay, so now this one, I want that pretty close to that leaf. So we're gonna do that right about there. I'm not wiggling or rocking, but I am trying to make sure I get all the ink off. And that's kind of how that's supposed to look. It's supposed to be lighter inside there. Then with our other stem, we're gonna ink this baby up and we're gonna kind of cross him over the other one. There. Now I'm going to kind of just lay this on here because I want to see about where my sentiment. Thank you for your endless love and support. So can you see how that's why because at first I had everything over kind of in the middle and I didn't have room for my sentiment. So I'm going to do that right about there. Beautiful. Okay, I think we are done stamping. So again, we used Mossy Meadow and Petal Pink ink and cardstock on that card. Okay, and I just think it's good to have this mat right here. I think that helps us stamp these well, okay, with those photopolymer. Okay, so I'm going to use some adhesive on this baby right here. 
Oh, I might have smeared that a little bit. Oh, well, you guys can't even tell that, I bet, can you? I should just not even say a word. Okay, so that one goes on there. Now we're gonna add some adhesive on the back of this guy right here and layer on top of our Mossy Meadow piece. Okay, and then one more. And then we are gonna tie our bow and put it on our card. And that is what makes this card. I mean, I well, I don't know. All of it really makes it, right? The designer series paper, the stamp. I love the sentiment. And then I really do love this variegated Roseanne. Hello, I'm glad you can join us. So petal pink and whisper white variegated ribbon. I'm not even sure what it's, I don't know if it tells us. It just says it's a variegated ribbon. It is a little interesting to tie. There's like a kind of feel a little bit like a coating or a texture on it. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> yes, Philomena, she's saying it's a beautiful stamp set and now even better because we're gonna have framelits. So the Lily framelits will cut all of those images out. Okay, so back to, because this one took me a sec. I'm gonna warn you guys, and you'll have to know this if you go to make one of these bows too. It was almost like the ribbon kind of catches on itself a little bit, like when you're trying to, I don't know if it's the texture to it or what, but okay. So, and I always end up with these huge loops at first and that's okay. Then you just kind of start pulling on the tails to make it smaller. And I'm just trying to get to the point where I have, um, you know, the little bunny ears, the size that I want them, because you can't have them too big, but you want them big enough so that you can appreciate it, right? So I think that looks good. All right, so now I'm gonna snip. Oh, fire trucks are going by, that's not good. Say a prayer for wherever they're going. Okay, and then that is gonna go right about there with my mini glue dots. So we're gonna just pop that on with a mini glue dot. So this, I'm just gonna stick right to my glue dot. I've got it on the back there and I kind of angled it a little bit because I don't wanna cover up my sentiment. So I just kind of did that. And there we go. Thank you for your endless love and support. Oops, there we go. That's a little bit more in view, right? So, and okay, yay. I guess it's all right. The sun's coming out now. So clear off the highway so we can make it to Lansing. And actually people are coming from all over too. So hopefully everyone's having safe travels today. Okay, so you guys, I think that's it. Oh my goodness. So let me know if anybody has any questions. I know like we've kind of been saying that whole new celebration stuff and coordination stuff is a little bit confusing. Um, some of it you can buy, some of it you can earn basically. Um, yeah, thank you, Sharon. I appreciate that. So thank you so much for watching today. Make sure if you're new to Facebook Live or if you're watching later on YouTube, say hi to me. I love to hear from you guys. You guys just have no idea how much I love knowing who's watching. I just think that it's just a, a big thrill for me. So, and I really appreciate your comments too. I appreciate your shares. I love being able to kind of reach as many people as possible. And like I said, it helps me in my small business to kind of continue with it too, right? So if you are interested interested in placing an order, getting maybe any of the products that we use. I will, um, later on today, I will finish my blog post and I'll have all the details of everything we used on these cards, right? If you put that online order in of at least $30, right? By next Wednesday, you're gonna get these two projects that I demonstrated. Make sure you use the host code, the ZZJYG9NU. And your name also goes in the drawing to win that all that you are stamp set, right? Bump your order up to $50, you always get a free embellishment, and then right now you get that free celebration item too. So it's a great time to order. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a great day and a great weekend, and hopefully Lily's gonna perform her solo at competition for the first time, so we're saying prayers for her that she feels good. I don't know if anybody remembers last year, I think it was the very first competition she got up on stage and she forgot a little part of it. Now, no one else knew, but she was devastated. So we're just gonna hope nothing like that happens for her again this weekend. So thank you guys. Have a great weekend. I'll see you next Friday. Make sure to comment and share all week long on the post too on the um, Stamp Studio Facebook group because I love to hear what you guys have to say and you get more entries in the drawing. So bye everybody. We'll see you next Friday.